This is my HP Mini 210. It's a netbook and I'm having trouble with booting it. I tried doing a factory restore but it never completed and now it has this error message root MGR is missing. So I'll try to do another factory reset the, on these netbooks. It's not too bad. You just have to press control alt delete or reset it with the power button on the side and press escape while it's booting up. So I'm just pressing the escape button over here when it booted up. And it takes me to this screen over here. From here, I just have to press the F11 key to get into system recovery. Let me see if I can do this right. F11 key is the one with the speaker turn off button. Press the F11 and this happens. I think the hard drive on this is going bad, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to complete this, but I'll try giving it a try. So it's still booting up into recovery. Using the mouse, you want to select System Recovery, I think. Restore your computer to out-of-box state. Click on Start. So this will be factory reset, like when you had it new. I don't need to back up my files, but you may need to. I'm choosing the second option here on the bottom, recover without backup. Click OK. It's going to ask me to plug in my power cable. It won't do the factory reset without being plugged into the power adapter. So I'm going to go do that. I'll take my power, plug it in. Plugged it in here to the side, you can see it's charging. And click on OK. Click Next over here. And that's it. Just let it go through the process of uh, installing the factory image restore, and you're good to go. I tried running this, I think few weeks ago and I didn't have any luck as it stopped at 88% so I don't have the CD key as well as I don't have the installation software so this may require me installing another OS or something like Linux 
which might actually be a good thing because it'd run a lot faster. So we'll see. And that's it. That's how you can factor reset your HP Mini 210-2180NR. I'll do a follow-up video if this actually worked or not. To my surprise, after 20 minutes, it finished. And now I'm going to restart my computer. And that fixed my boot problem. And now it's booting again. There it is.